the Chavla gang rape case and the verdict on that. The Supreme Court from death penalty has now completely reversed the judgment and has uh, gone into details. Today we have the details uh, of the that order. The Supreme Court has acquitted the three accused. The big question that people are asking then who killed this poor girl on the February, uh, 5th February night uh, in 2012. Let me very quickly tell you what the Supreme Court said, the bench said, acquitting the three accused, because this is the talk of the town, ladies and gentlemen. Supreme Court notes that the prosecution failed to prove their case beyond the reasonable doubt. The top court also said, should strictly decide the case on the merits of the law, not on the pressure, public pressure and the sentiments. Uh, the court also noticed that should not be influenced by any moral pressures. The court also suggested that it is very, very, uh, you know, very identity of the accused not has been duly established. One of the grounds that the court has given for acquitting these accused. Prosecution failed to bring home the charges. The court also, in fact, said uh, that uh, the charges on uh, the accused not proved beyond reasonable doubt. Questions, ladies and gentlemen, has been raised on the entire investigation. Let me very quickly at this moment go across to the uh, lawyer of the family who is joining us right now. Charu uh, Ali Ghana is uh, with us, uh, in fact, at this moment, ma'am. I want to understand from you the, the Supreme Court has completely, uh, you know, ripped the investigation into half. It has gone after the prosecution and it has also said DNA did not match. Other evidences did not stand up to the court's scrutiny. What's your reaction to that? I don't agree at all. In fact, if two uh, courts have, are satisfied with the evidence, the Supreme Court is not satisfied, but it's all the reasons that it is given are absolutely baseless. The first one they have raised is about the TIP, about the identification parade taking place. And the, in the line before, that they have said that the witness said it was too dark and they couldn't see anyone. So is it not futile or do they want them just to, uh, you know, decide by ina, mina, maina, mo? And again and again, the, all the, the witnesses have said they just saw the red car come and pick up the girl. She was snatched away and she was kidnapped. Then why are they saying, why is the repeatedly the Supreme Court saying that they did not recognize the accused in court. I mean, there's no question of them recognizing. And yeah. regarding uh, the DNA evidence and the yeah. DNA profile, I have a very strong statement to say. Uh, today's world, after 30 years, they are doing DNA profile. After thousands of years, they're doing of even the dinosaurs. Okay. So what that uh, uh, Supreme Court has said that the strand of hair found from the body is how highly unlikely which was lying in th after three days in the fields when the strand of hair of the accused has matched the dna profile of the girl including the semen stains etc and the kara matching then you're saying it may have been tampered okay. if the case had fallen apart and then then you could have said because of the tampering the prosecution was not able to establish the case but here the dna okay. profile is matching you know, but the question now, ma'am, and that is that is what everybody wants to know. Is there still any hope? Can there be a reinvestigation as far as the, this case is concerned? And would your review yield anything? No, I definitely have hope because I'm an advocate and I must follow the process of law. And the, we are given these constitutional remedies of a, a review petition, of a curative petition. So we must take the options and believe in them and i definitely believe in them but yes maybe it will not be death penalty because we were apprehending that maybe they'll convert it to life or even i thought that they'll do it sentence undergone because the boys have been in jail for three ten years so there's a possibility that may be the end result but definitely the fight is not over and i mean what a message it's sending what a message are we sending thank you so much for speaking to us 